Welcome to the Identity V How to Counter Every Hunter Guide. Let's get this party started. Hell Ember. He is very slow and clumsy, so prepare to deal with the blinks. Don't pallet loop him too much and do more transitions to other kiting areas. Always spam a button between his doll's legs to stop them from chasing or hitting you. Smiley face. He likes to ride on his rocket so much, so don't kite him in the open areas. Make complicated turns inside tight spaces to force him to bump into obstacles. Magic wands are the worst enemy for him, use them to stop his dash with no problems. The Ripper. This guy is pretty taut to tight kite around thin walls because of his foggy blades hitting through them, it is much safer to loop him around large and wide obstacles. Keep in mind that his foggy blade can go through dropped pallets, so don't drop them right in front of him. It is quite easy to juke him, so it might save you when he is invisible. Gamekeeper. This hunter has a hook that can drag you closer from a long distance, so try to look back more often and don't run on a straight line. The hook's hitboxes are, mildly saying, confusing. Hook can still catch you through some obstacles, but you would never expect it to pierce them through. In that case you should know where it will get you and where it won't. And don't forget to look where you step, cause he has a bunch of bear traps to treat you with. Soul Weaver. She is insanely fast and tight environment, so running around a pallet won't work here. Kite more in the open. When she reaches her second ability, try to cover yourself up with nearby obstacles, otherwise you will get shot by her web. Also jukes more likely won't work here due to her large body. Geisha. She is struggling with pallets, so tight kiting is an option here. But be aware of her wall blinking abilities. Always look where she casts her butterflies to avoid getting sudden surprises. She can camp a chair while flying above it, bait out her on dropping down first, or you'll get a double hit instead. You can juke her more often than other hunters. Wu Chang. He is pretty weak in early game, just watch how, and from where he throws his umbrella, run backwards if you see him teleporting, and don't panic, if he just threw umbrella on the ground, he can't hit you without it in his hands. When he'll unlock his second ability, situation may get a little rough. He can easily catch up you with his white form second ability, but you can cancel it anytime with a stun, in the black form he'll try to stun you with his bell. You can't make any interactions before you complete a calibration, so if you standing inside a pallet, spam a drop button to fail the calibration and to throw down pallet much quicker. It's almost impossible to juke him, also his white form has a very long hitbox, so keep that in mind too. Photographer. The first indicator of his appearance in the match is standing cameras all around the map. Once you saw them, you have to hide somewhere before he creates a photo world. That will keep your copy safe. Don't decode ciphers which are placed near to active photo world portals, but if you insist, at least check both worlds periodically for hunter's location to avoid possible jump scares. If you are under last effort state or having doubts about your kite, enter in the photo world and die there because chair's countdown isn't working in such place. The Feaster. To make lose his tentacles control, kite in places with high walls. Avoid making obvious moves, be more unpredictable, and always look for alternative paths. He won't be able to use a tentacle which you are currently dismantling, use this in stalemate situations. Tentacles can also show him a direction of survivor's location, so don't try to hide from him too much. Dream Bitch. Oh sorry I meant, Dream Witch. She's a sneaky hunter, luckily she recently got nerfed, because back then her followers would follow you without a heartbeat. Now you can just look for a notification if she's near you and listen closely for a footsteps. Always collect purple marks beneath the followers spawns to remove leeches from others or even from yourself. If your leech is following you, go towards to stop it or lead it to a pallet and stun it. Keep your leech removing progress on 99%. You can remove it later when you want but also prevents from spawning another leech on you. You can even rescue someone if you remove the leech when it carrying someone. Have fun with that. Axe boy. Consider breaking his trees to remove the purple following fireball effect after leaving the corrupted area. While being Chaz try to stay inside corrupted zones to not get slowed down by roots if the hunter reached his maximum presence. Don't go clockwise to the following fireball because most of Axe boys trying to predict that move more often. Evil Reptilian. This hunter can significantly decrease a distance between you and him in seconds. Kite him inside buildings with a low ceiling to prevent him from jumping. 
he almost helpless without his second ability, so don't expect him to slam on you from above too early. After he unlocks his slam ability, avoid obvious places when he's in midair. Bloody Queen. Oops sorry. Wrong picture. Always look for her mirror's direction after a start of a match. It's better to move on a parallel to the mirror's line of symmetry while kiting her. But if her mirror image is too close, try to go through it and juke in the most trickiest way possible. You can cancel her mirror placement with a stun, and flashlight can even insta-wipe her mirror out. Guard 26. He is slow enough to easy keep the distance between him and you. Don't even try to tight kite or loop him in small areas. Run on a chaotic trajectory to make his bombs less likely to hit you. He has the strongest camping skills, so get ready for a heavy resistance, even if you are a rescuer. Disciple. If you'll encounter a really good Anne, it would be unavoidable for her cats to catch you. So all you can do here is to keep the distance and go behind objects to counter her jumps. Prospectors and thieves can counter her stuns, so feel lucky if you face her with one of them. Her camp is also strong, if she'll set it up correctly, just be sure not to get hit before the stuns. Violinist. This hunter is the scariest to kite. He can knock you down in seconds, so to resist it, you have to pay all your attention on his note's placement and his current location. Avoid getting between him and the note he has placed. Don't go in pallets or windows too early, look how he will place the first note, only then decide where to go. His third ability where he can cast multiple strings is easier to avoid if you run on a parallel to his string, not perpendicular. Sculptor. She's not that scary like the guard 26, so you can tight kite her easier unlike him. But don't rams it to other areas through the tight spaces. She has map control skills, so if you'll notice a windy circle around you, prepare to keep moving from the spawning statues. If she decides to spam you with her max presence ability, then just move around on a circular trajectory to dodge all form directional statues. Undead. First of all, if you encounter him, forget everything about rocket chairs, because he will always slug everybody to death. Look on his arms while kiting him, if they has some sort of energy flows, that means you can't stun him when he's preparing to swing his sword. Also with that charge he can destroy pallets with a regular attack, and even jump and hit you over some obstacles, and hit you with his electric wave two times in a row. If he's overcharged, he will become a snowball. Keep in mind that if you'll get up from a knockdown state, you will be highlighted for him through the whole map on a couple seconds. And yeah, don't kite him in the open. Are we not done yet? God damn. Mad eyes. No matter how good you can kite, he will get you from anywhere. That's why at the beginning you have to find a nearest console and hack into it to waste the energy. At full presence wasting his energy won't do anything, and the only characters that can cross his fences without taking damage are a gardener with her shield and seer with his owl. Maybe perfumer can do it too, but I haven't tried it, lol. The Breaking Wheel. This is the fastest hunter in the game so far, but he's sure controls like an ass, so kite his wheel form in the tight areas with windows, and also don't throw pallets down, cause they will do absolutely nothing to him in that form. Only stun his walking form, not the wheel one. And don't forget to avoid his throwable traps. Если будет очень много подписок и лайков, то у меня будет второй питомец.